What's up everybody, um, Nick here, and um, this video I'm going to be showing you how to change your signal strength from balls in iOS 7 or bars in any other version of iOS to um, a DBM number, which is a negative number, and it basically will show you a more accurate representation of your current uh, signal strength. Um, so first off, what you want to do is go to phone, and from here you got to type this kind of little secret code, and it's star 3001 pound one two three four five pound star and just click call and it'll bring you into a secret little field test thing and um i'm not really too sure what this is for but it looks like it's kind of like sim info and like your cell phone provider like information stuff so um yeah from here as you can see you, the numbers or the balls have changed to um a negative 87 but um if we do hit home this will go away as you can see so um what we're going to do is go back to phone, re-enter the um, little code, which I'll also put in the description if you just in case you forget. Hit call, go back to field test, and from here this should work for any version of iOS. And it has been really unstable for me in iOS 7, so what I did was I actually um, rebooted my phone. I um, did a hard reset, which if you don't know is when you hold um, your power at home and you just hold that down and that will restart your phone. It guarantee like almost will fix 90% of any iPhone problem but um anyways that's not what the point of the video is um basically for I, this will guaranteedly like work on any version below iOS um, 7 and sometimes it does work for iOS 7 is but what you do is you um hold the power button until you get slide to power off and now you hold your home button and it should crash so as you can see this time around it didn't work for um, iOS 7 but that should work for iOS 6 or any version below that so um, I'm just gonna go back into here and I'm gonna type the code one more time hopefully we can get it to work this time so we go into field test and what I was having to do for iOS 7 was I was having to go to Siri so um, basically the same thing except I would bring up Siri by holding the home button and then tapping the home button to make Siri go away after I was alright I'll just show you actually you know what so bring up Siri then I was holding the power button till the slide to unlock came up then I was tapping the home button once to make um, Siri go away and now I was holding the um, home button again like normal and um, right there it crashed and now you can see those numbers are staying so um, you should not sure but it, I think it does rely on your timing um, right when you see that screen like when you see the power go away it let go and it should look like it almost crashes your app um, the field test and now as you can see those numbers are staying and um, they did just update also so basically what this is is from what I read and a negative 60 is about like a full like strength the best um, signal you could get and around negative 110 or um, like around negative 110 and between that and 120 is where you're gonna start like dropping calls and not basically gonna get no service around there so um yeah negative 80 is like usually what I have in my house and in buildings which means basically it's just like a moderate uh, strength I can make calls receive messages stuff like that I, all of that stuff will work fine but um yeah this was the tutorial for that so um, let me know if you have any issues um as you can see for some reason this is what I'll tell you I did do a reboot and then without having to go into Siri and that worked for iOS 7 but I didn't just reboot my phone but it's kind of confusing but what I'm saying is if you reboot your phone the way of ho just holding the power in the home without Siri should work first try but I'm not gonna guarantee that so basically that um, without using Siri will work for iOS 6, iOS 5, iOS 4, iOS 3, iOS 2, iOS 1. It will work for any version except for iOS 7. And sometimes work for iOS 7. Sorry this is confusing. But then if that doesn't work, I um, always exit out of field test. I don't know if it matters, but then I'll just redial and go back into it. And from there, I'll do the... Um, then I'll go back into the field test menu from the code, which is in the description. And then, um, basically, I'm telling you what I did was then bring up Siri, as you saw, and then hold the power button, and um, then once that's up on top of Siri, tap the home button once, and Siri will go away, and then the power slide to unlock will um, be there, or not slide to unlock, slide the power off, 
and from there you just hold the home button like you saw me do and it should almost look like it crashes and now as you can see I've just been saying this so you can see that it's not just like a delayed kind of thing it stays there um, I did do this a couple times this is probably like my uh, sixth or seventh time I was just making sure it would work so um, yeah um, it does kind of do live updates I guess you could say I'd say maybe around every 30 seconds to a minute or somewhere around there it will update um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video, guys. So, um, yeah, let me just show you if you turn your phone on, it's still there, it's stuff like that. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.